So guys, I made a big mistake. <laughs> I forgot to actually touch on the game between Wolverhampton Wanderers and Tottenham Hotspur that's coming in in match week two of the English Premier League. Usually when I do my live streams, I cover every single fixture and I was checking my comments and someone was asking for the match between Spurs and Wolves. And I said, oh my God, I didn't even talk about this game. And I was still Ryan, who was my guest today, that we usually touch on every single game. And I don't know how this game slipped through the cracks. Maybe I'm still distraught from the, the loss against Spurs last week because I'm a Man City fan, if you don't know. Spurs defeated City one goal to nil, even without Harry Kane, the man who's been rumored and linked to Manchester City. And Wolves had the adverse, the, the opposite result against Leicester City losing a goal to nil. Both teams are under new managers. But before I go on, before I go on, I do, I want to apologize. And I don't know if anyone in the chat realized that we did not even talk about that game, but no one reminded us. I was checking the comments. Maybe someone did, but I didn't catch, I didn't um, pick up on it. But I do apologize. But I'm making amends. I'm making amends. Maybe like an hour and a half after the live stream ended i'm here to touch on the freaking game i'm sorry i'm sorry but look talked about the opening day result wolves lost tottenham won both teams on the new managers and ironically the manager the old wolves manager is now the tottenham manager in nuno espirito santo bruno large the former benfica manager comes in to take care of wolverhampton wanderers we know they're heavily they're, they're, they're a Portuguese heavy team and Bruno Large is a Portuguese man as well and he has come in to try to continue the great work that Nuno Espirito Santo has done with at, um, at Wolves. Could Nuno take Spurs to the next level? These are things we have to actually ask ourselves. Last season, the results between these two teams, Spurs at home too, Wolves nil, and the game at Molyneux ended in a 1-1 draw. As I mentioned, Nuno was Wolves' manager for the last three years, helped them get back to the Premier League, and he has done very, very well. Their performance has, has been nothing short of admirable. And Matt Doggerty, the former Wolves man, also now plays for Tottenham Hotspur, gets the link back up with the manager who seemed like he got the best out of Doggerty because that was not a good season last year under Mourinho and then Ryan Mason. Questions, big questions that we have to ask here. And I had these questions for my guest, Ryan LFC. But I, I'm asking you guys these questions. Will Spurs win a trophy this season? They're in the Europa Conference League. That's if they actually get in. I think they're actually playing right now. They're playing a team from Portugal right now. And would they get in? Because they're in the playoffs. Are they going to get in? I think they would get in. But... For a tournament like that, when you really look at the, the quality of teams in there, I think they should win it. I'm just saying they should. But remember last season, they were in the Europa League, didn't manage to win that one. Moreno lost his job. And there's still a few quality teams in the Europa Conference League as well, even though there's some teams I never heard the names of. I said that these teams have names of medical conditions and diseases and Wi-Fi passwords, according to Thriller. But Spurs... This, this would be their best chance to actually win a trophy. They got to the Carabao Cup final last year, lost it. Could Nuno take Spurs to the next level? That's the next question. That's the question I have for you. And when you really think about it, I think he could actually do a very good job with Tottenham. We saw what he did last, last, last game. Last game, he, out, he, he tactically outclassed Pep Guardiola and picked up an unlikely, in my opinion, 1-0 victory. Some may say it wasn't unlikely. Because Spurs always seem to pick up a, a big result against City every season. But that was huge, man. What a way to start your career as the Tottenham Hotspur manager. Even without Harry Kane in the team. Hun Ming Son stepped up. Bergvine. Guys like Lucas Moura. Pierre-Emil Hyber stepped up. Ali Skip stepped up. And Hugo Lloris was big in goal as well. Let's not even mention the defense. Sanchez, Dyer, Regalon. And the man over at right back. Who played at right back? Jaffe Tanganga. How could I forget that? I think Spurs could win a trophy this season. If not the, the League Cup or the FA Cup or the, the, the Conference League. Maybe not the league. Even if they keep Harry Kane, I don't think they're going to win the league. But they could win something. 
or maybe they're just cursed and they won't win anything. You know what I'm saying? Let's just put that out there. Another question, will Kane stay? He did not travel to Portugal for the Europa Conference League playoff game. Is he going to feature against Wolves? I think he, he might just feature. I think he might feature. It doesn't look like the deal to Man City is going to happen. Even though Man City are putting up 150 million large for Harry Kane. They refused. Like, they, they, you telling me you don't want 150 million large? Guys, to put things into perspective, the entire La Liga has spent 150 million euros so far in the transfer window. You see that number go up, but I'm pretty sure if Man City does the deal for Kane, Manchester City alone would spend more money than the entire La Liga this season, which is for this transfer window. This is ridiculous, I'm telling you. This is spending at a whole nother level where the Premier League has spent a billion, a billion euros already, while for La Liga, 150,000. 150, uh, not 150, 150 million, pardon me. Italy, Italy have spent half a billion. So after the Premier League, it's Italy. And then there's France and Germany. But La Liga has, you know, so just to put things into perspective. One question I have again. How will Wolves perform without Nuno Espirito Santo? He helped to put together the identity of that team. And they placed seventh in back-to-back -back seasons, but fell off a bit last season. Nuno moved on. He thought that he took the team as far as he could have taken the team into Europa League and everything. So that's pretty successful for a team playing in the championship a couple of seasons ago. Could Bruno Large actually continue the great work that Nuno has done? I think Wolves are going to struggle this season. Raul Jimenez just coming back from a horrible injury. I read that he could have died from that, that skull fracture. Adama Traore can't really seem to put the ball in the back of the net. Pedro Neto, I just read, will be out until next February. And the other players have not really stepped up, man. Daniel Podens, he's been suffering from injury problems. And even though they have made signings, I don't think these signings are signings that has actually made a difference at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Maybe there's some more business to be done in the window. Jean Martino, Ruben Neves is still there, Connor Cody. You know, there's still the core players that help them come up. But it's, you know, Rui Patricio is gone. So I think Wolves might actually struggle this season. I'm not going to say they're going to get relegated. That's a possibility as well. But I think they'll struggle. I think they will struggle. Or they might just prove me wrong and do very, very well. Look, we could be long-winded here. And we could go into history and all sorts of things. But Tottenham are looking good coming into this game. Tottenham are looking really, really good. And I'm talking about beating Man City. The holders, 1-0 good. As for Wolves, they didn't do too bad against Leicester City. They had their chances. They created their chances. But they weren't able to finish. Adama Traore, two big chances. If those chances had fell to the right man in Raul Jimenez, maybe there would have been a different outcome. But Adama, you got to work on your finishing, man. You really got to work on your finishing. Wolves, the goal that they conceded, it wasn't an easy goal to concede. Let's say Vardy. It was Vardy's brilliance. And I think they defended. I think the game was a 50-50 affair. They did give Leicester a good game. But just that one moment of quality provided by Jamie Vardy wasn't able. Wolves weren't able to replicate that. That's the whole bottom line there. Wolves lacked the quality and they have to bring the quality to the table if they want to actually do well this Premier League season. How long would Bruno Lage last as the Wolves manager? I don't know, man. Let's just wait and see. It's hard to make predictions this season. There's fans back at the stadium and there's just a different dynamic than last season. So who knows? They, they might just perform well. They're at home and we might just see something a little different from Wolverhampton Wanderers in this game oh i like to do that when i'm talking about wolves but for tottenham they're looking like a force they're really looking like a force we know they have a good team they're just not able to win trophies that's the whole thing and last season very inconsistent harry kane did the business top goal scorer top assist getter kane did well 
but some players fell up, fell away a bit. Deli Ali wasn't really involved until the back end. I think um, Tangri and is probably injured right now. Didn't feature in the game against City. But they look good from the first game. And I think they're going to take that momentum into this game and defeat Wolves two goals to one. I think Wolves will get a goal. But Tottenham's quality would be the difference maker at the end of the day. Hanming Son, hard to keep this guy quiet. It's going to be hard to keep Bergvine, Lucas Moura quiet if they're involved. Deli Ali has been playing some good football and is you, you gotta beat you gotta put the ball past Hugo Lloris who's looking like he mean business this season. So both teams are going to transitional phases, new managers, new players, new system and everything. And it's gonna be interesting to see what they do for the entire season. Guys, as I said, this is just a makeup video because I failed to touch on this match during the live stream, but it's all good, man. It's all good. As long as I come through and I just shed some light on this match, show the game, show the fixture some love and not just brush it off and be like, oh, well, I forgot next time. No, I'm not. that's not me. That's not me. That's why I'm here now to touch on this. So, guys, do me a favor. Let me know your prediction for this one in the comment section down below. Do subscribe to the channel if you're new. Answer those questions I ask as well, man. Please do so. And from your boy Dominic Rich, until next time, I like to say thanks for watching. Peace out. Rich. Squad. Peace. Even though this was a a wing this video, I think it did I think I did pretty well, right? I think I did pretty well. Yeah, we we'll talk soon. And thanks to all wrong for actually asking about this. Or else I wouldn't would not have made this video. Peace.